In this video I'll be making some new crucibles by slip method. So in my hand I'm holding a plaster mold and a porcelain, I believe it's porcelain, um, chemistry crucible, which fits my roll perfectly by shape and overall size. This is the slip I'll be using. So inside I have grogged alumina pieces and some charcoal dust powder, which I've just ground up using a mortar and a pestle and I'll just add random amount. After some research on particle void formers, it appears that sawdust and charcoal dust can be used um, to create these voids because during the burnout process, the particles suspended in the slip will just sublimate, leaving a perfect void. This is a time-lapse video of the plaster mold soaking up moisture and you can see the line, the moisture line traveling down and the cavity forming on top of the slip. Then it's time to pour the slip back into the container when it stopped being soaked in, but you can see it's quite lumpy, make sure you mix it thoroughly. Although at this point I really don't care about the insides uh, because I'm testing the refractory purposes of this mixture, it's still better if it's well mixed. Then as wet as the mold is, I place it into the microwave on medium to low heat for 3-4 to four minutes and repeat it several times until it's dry, as you can see it. Another slip attempt. This time the mixture was shaken more vigorously, but it's still quite lumpy, so make sure you don't do it as I did. A few taps to remove the air bubbles and just wait until it stops soaking in. Another cool time-lapse video of the slip being soaked in and the cavity on top of it forming. After you can see the separation between the slip and the mold, just flip it upside down and it'll pop right out. You can see the insides are kind of ugly, but as I said, I don't care. And again, as wet as this plaster mold is, I'll just put it into the microwave for 4 minutes on medium-low heat. Here you have a proof of the validity of the microwave drying of the slip molds. It was wet, now it's a little bit less wet, no cracks, no nothing. So after a few attempts, it should be very, very dry. No cracks, nothing. Wet and dry molds compared, the wet one goes straight to the microwave to become dry as well. You can see it's soaking wet. After these 4 minutes you can see that it became quite drier, judging by the color. Each cycle it looks more similar to the dry one. On top of this wood stove, I've placed a pot filled with these crucibles I've just made. As the water evaporates, it's retained on the lid and on the sides, well, within this pot, so it's a humid environment and I hope the crucibles won't crack. Let's find out. Every once in a while I would just take a look inside the pot to see how they're doing. No cracks have formed and I was genuinely surprised. The wet environment did prevent them from cracking, I guess. On the bottom you can see some particles, it's just some sand that I've sprinkled on the bottom of the pot to prevent extreme heat from cracking them. After the fire had died out, it was apparent the crucibles have dried out, judging by the sound. All the water had evaporated and it was not retained on the side or on the lid as well. It was done, it was a done process. No cracks, nothing. I'm very very happy with this process. This is the complete set and the left crucible has the most carbon in it and less and less going to the right. No cracks in any of them. The crucible in the middle was fired a couple of days ago and judging by the sound other make compared to it, they're all dry. 
So now it's time to fire them and test their refractory properties. Thank you.